was a popular artist illustrator for young readers' adventure stories, but he was also a master teacher. Around him he gathered small groups of students in Wil Wilmington, Delaware. They later became known as the Brandywine School of Art and went on to define the illustration world of art. Many of the greatest artists of the 20th century trace their artistic lineage back to Howard Pyle. Howard Pyle is widely regarded as one of America's foremost illustrators. During his lifetime, Pyle would create over 3,000 illustrations for leading periodicals of the day, including Harper's Weekly and Scribner's Monthly. He would also illustrate over 200 texts, including The Adventures of Robin Hood and the story of King Arthur and his knights. Pyle's connection to Wilmington and Delaware was very strong. In fact, his Quaker ancestors first settled in the Brandywine Valley in 1682. work entitled Marooned by Howard Pyle, the feeling of desolation is palpable. This forlorn pirate, seen in profile, sits on this long expanse of beach, his legs gathered, hands webbed together, his head bowed. Nearby is a water canteen. At his feet is a coat and hat taken off a naval officer, plunder no doubt from a high seas skirmish. Pyle used pirates in many adventure stories. He invented the flamboyant romantic garb that has become standard issue for any tale about piracy these days. By 1900, Pyle founded his own art school, the Howard Pyle School of Illustration Art. He instructed many great artists, including the wonderful N.C. Wyeth, and it became known as the Brandywine School Style of Illustration.